friends today we are going to write a program for 8 bit multiplication here uh, you know in 805 microprocessor we do not have any instruction for uh, multiplication that means we can't implement <coughs> multiplication directly there so uh, how do we how we will achieve that uh, simply if you are uh, said to perform 3 into 8 it means uh, right now I'm uh, discussing in decim decimal values okay these are the decimal values so you will get a value 24 in decimal so we can also get this value by adding 080808 that means you can see we are adding 08 in 0 three times that means we will have to perform addition and we will put that addition in loop and loop will run three times so the result of this also will be 24 in decimal all right so uh, but you know when we multiply two 8 bit numbers then result may be of uh, 8 bit and it may and it may also be of 16 bit that means we will have to take care for the uh, you know carry generated while repeated addition so let's see an example if you want to perform uh, uh, 3 h this is hexadecimal number multiplied by uh, f to h you want to perform this multiplication so simply just as uh, i have told you here we will perform 0 0 plus f to h all right and then we will perform again f to h this is twice second time we will get 2 plus 2 4 and f is 15 in decimal okay and 15 plus 15 will be 30 and 30 can be written as 1 e in hexadecimal that's why a 1 will be here and e will be here remember this one will be reflected in our carry flag that means carry will be 1 and we will get only e4 in our accumulator so now what we are going to do here we will take a separate register here say for example register b and we will put a value 0 0 there and we will be checking carry if we are getting a carry then we will increase this number otherwise we will not increase this number that means we are going to do that if carry is generated so here in this case carry is generated that's why we will increase this number and it will be <coughs> 0 1 again we have to add f to h in this number and this time 4 plus 2 will be 6 and f is 15 and e is 14 summation will be 29 and 29 in uh, hexadecimal is written as uh, 1dh so again we will get value d6h and uh, 1 will be reflected in carry flag and as we are checking for carry so we will again check that carry is present or not if carry is present here then again we will increase this value so now in register b we will get 0 to h so the overall result will be 0 to d6 h and we will store these numbers in different memory locations all right so now let's write the program but before writing the program uh, i am assuming that at address 2050 h i will be giving one of the number and at 2051 h I will be giving second number and at 2052h I will I will be storing the result of uh, you know a, a 16 bit result may be there so I will be storing a lower byte of result here and at location 2053h I will be storing upper byte of 16 bit result so after that uh, uh, I am going to instruction for uh, you know I have already said earlier that uh, whenever uh, we are writing we are going to perform any arithmetic operation first of all we will require to have these numbers presented memory into the microprocessor so that's why uh, we will be writing lda 2050h by writing this our first number that is present at 2050h that will be that will come into accumulator and we are going to store that number at some memory look at some register that is assume register b here okay well in our example uh, we have used register b to store the carry that's why i am going to change this as c 
we are taking a register C here so we have kept the value first value in register C and after that again we will be using LDA 2051H and by writing this we will get our second number into the microprocessor alright <coughs> so uh, now we want to add uh, you know uh, 0 plus number 3 times so for that I am going to take this value in register D so now we have first number in C and second number is in D and now what I want to perform I want to perform 0 plus the content of register D C times alright so that means first of all we will have to put a 0 in the accumulator so uh, MVI a comma 00 h do will do the same thing it will put 00 in accumulator and then after writing add d it means we are going to add content of a and content of d and now uh, we will be checking that whether carry is generated or not uh, so if carry you know here if carry is generated then we are going to increase the register b okay content of register b so uh, think if uh, carry is there then we have to increase the content of B but if carry is not there then we don't have to increase the content of B simply we have to uh, you know uh, run the loop and we have to check the and we have to add the next number so that's why I have already said in my video that uh, in between two cases we will be choosing the instruction for that we have lesser number of instructions to write so in our we will be using JNC and after GNC I am writing FWD that means this is a label of some address and uh, if uh, carry is not generated that means we simply will jump to some location and there we will go back to add again the next number alright here remember we have to add uh, content of D in 0 C times that's why here the content of C will work as uh, you know uh, counter that how many number of times loop will run so simply uh, we will be decreasing the content of C DCRC and we will be checking that whether it has become 0 or not if it has not become 0 then we will repeat the process of addition that means we will again add the content of D in the result of accumulator so again at this location we are adding the same thing so that's why we will go back at this location we will be writing repeat here so let's see we have added first time we have not got carry we are here then we are going back sorry this repeat will be here so we we are going back and on going back we are again adding if we are again not getting carry then we will be here and you know this loop will run c times okay so if carry is generated then what will happen simply this instruction will uh, you know get a false condition that's why it will not be executed and instruction just written uh, after that will be uh, run and uh, here we are going to simply increase the content of B but remember we have not taken register B anywhere that's why we will have to initialize register B as 0 MVI B comma 0 0 H so whenever we will be getting a carry B will be increased okay and then we will go to loop again and after you know uh, a number of times when when this addition will occur c times then at last the content of c will be 0 and we will come out of the loop in in that condition accumulator will be holding the lower byte and register b will be holding the upper byte so simply we have to store the result now so we are we have to store result lower byte at 2052 location that's why we will be writing uh, first of all we will have to uh, Okay, yeah here it will be only sta 2052h because lower byte is present in accumulator itself so simply we have put the value of accumulator at location 2052h and after that uh, we will have to put the value of b in accumulator and then we will put that value at location 2053h and after that uh, hlt so this is the program for multiplication So I hope uh, it is uh, you know very easy. So if you like my videos, then please subscribe to my.